Welcome back, fellow adventurers, to Zelda World. Today, we're embarking on a treasure hunt for the mighty barbarian armor set in the Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom. This iconic set, known for its attack power boost, is scattered across three caves in Hyrule. Let's dive into the locations and uncover the secrets of obtaining this deadly armor set. Our first destination is Crenell Hills Cave. This cave is located northeast of Lookout Landing and southwest of the Crenell Hills marker on the map. Look for luminous stone ores to guide you inside the cave. Once inside the cave, navigate through the circular cavern with pillars. You'll encounter a stone talus in the center, so be prepared for a challenging fight. However, if you want to reach the chest directly, here's a shortcut. Stick to the left wall as you drop off to the ground level and circle the cave. Feel free to destroy ores and collect items along the way. Once you're on the other side of the cave, climb upward towards an open path. At the end of this path, you'll discover the chest containing the barbarian armor chest piece. It grants plus one attack power and has a default defense of three. Our next stop is Walnut Mountain Cave, where the barbarian leg wraps can be found. Located east of Hatano Village past the Hatino Ancient Tech Lab. The entrance to the cave is next to a small lake south of Retsum Forest. Prepare yourself, as this cave is filled with challenging enemies like Bokoblins, Ice Keys, and Ice Like Likes. It's advisable to have decent gear or use caution during your journey. To reach the chest with the barbarian leg wraps, proceed through the cave and defeat or avoid the enemies. Eventually, you'll come across a room with a locked door and rocks in the center. Use bomb flowers or weapons infused with a rock to create a gap in the rocks. This will allow you to access the chest room. Inside the chest room, melt the ice trapping the chest using fire fruits or a lit torch. Open the chest to claim your barbarian leg wraps, which provide plus one attack power and have a defense of three. Our final destination is Robred Drop-Off Cave, where the Barbarian Helm awaits. The entrance to the cave is slightly northwest of the Robred Drop-Off name and south of Phalian Highlands. As you enter the cave, you'll notice multiple stone statues that serve as guides. They subtly point you in the right direction, so follow their lead. Use explosives or weapons infused with a rock to navigate through the cave's rock walls. In one of the large rooms with stone statues, you'll encounter a group of three statues facing a rock wall. This is the path you should take. Destroy the rocks in the center of the room to create a gap. Watch out for the bokoblins in the room. They can be frozen with ice-based attacks. Climb down the path in front of you, where you'll find three more stone statue groups. Stand in front of the group with three statues on a plateau of sorts and use Ascend to reach the chest room. Open the chest to obtain the Mighty Barbarian Helm, which grants plus one attack power and has a default defense of three. You can use Ascend again to return to the previous path in the cave or fast travel to another location. Congratulations! You've successfully obtained all three pieces of the Barbarian Armor set in Zelda. Tears of the Kingdom. When wearing the complete set, you'll enjoy a total attack power boost of plus three. Mix and match the pieces as needed, and prepare to unleash devastating attacks on your enemies. Thank you for joining us on this epic treasure hunt for the Barbarian Armor set in Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom. If you found this guide helpful, be sure to like this video and subscribe to our Zelda World channel for more exciting Zelda content. Stay tuned for further updates, tips, and tricks to enhance your adventures in the vast world of Hyrule. Happy hunting, fellow heroes! <laughs>